Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new on here, my name is Tonya and you are totally free to destroy the subscribe button, smash it, break it, and do whatever you like with it, okay? <laughs> and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my own popular opinion about dating married men and sugar daddies. <laughs> This is my personal opinion. Your opinion can be totally different. That doesn't mean that I don't, I can't express my own opinion because it's freedom of speech. It's a free world now, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? I'm not saying that I am all holier than thou and I'm the most perfect person in the world, but I know what the Bible says about certain things. Don't come for me. Or maybe you can. But just know that I am a peacemaker, not a troublemaker. I'm not a fighter. So you're not going to get anything out of it. So don't come for me. Okay. Don't come for me. Now let's get into the video. I want to share with you guys my personal experience and why I have come to this opinion of mine. Now, as a girl, it was normal that married men were asking me out because it's what they do. Okay. But I made a personal decision by myself to myself on my self <laughs> that I was never going to date a married man. And that's because I believed in the law of karma. I know that I can't keep a man by what I do or whatever, okay? But it, there's just this thing about keeping your conscience clear. So I wanted to keep my conscience clear knowing that if a man decides to cheat on me, it wasn't because of something that I did. Do, does that make sense? So, I told myself that I didn't want to be the reason why somebody's home will get destroyed. I didn't want to be the reason why another woman will be unhappy. And I didn't want to be the reason why a man would think it's okay for him to cheat on his wife. Let me start with the men. If you don't want to be faithful to somebody's daughter, if you don't want to be faithful to somebody's sister, don't marry. Period. Now, why do you have to marry somebody's child, bring them to your house only so you can leave her at home like some kind of a trophy and go out there to do some other people? Why? If you're not ready to get married, go ahead and go through your whole face, do whatever bad things you want to do. And when you're ready to settle down, marry somebody. Now, let me go to the girls who think that it's okay for them to date married men there there's been some sayings that married men take care of women more married men pay more attention have you thought about it that if he was that uh compassionate at uh, attention paid man or whatever why isn't he with his wife let me tell you something there's an adage that african people use or nigerians that says that the same stick that was used to beat the first wife is going to be the same stick that they're going to use to beat you I know that the translation in English doesn't sound as good as when you say it in, um, you know, in like in, in Nigerian way, but still, same way that he's treating his wife by cheating on her with you is the same way that he's gonna treat you by cheating on you with someone else. So I am telling the girls out there who genuinely know that this man is married and decide to date him. Wait. I have a question for you. Do you think that you're going to make another woman unhappy? Do you think that you're going to break another person's home? Do you think that you're going to do all of this and get all the iPhone 11s and all of that and then you're going to be happy when you get married to your old man? No, because the law of karma is real. Whatever goes around comes up. You know what it says. <laughs> yeah. So. As you are busy doing all of that, so is your own husband going to do to you. While you are at home thinking you have a husband, he's going to be in someone else's skirt. How about that? 
<laughs> how about that says how about that everybody can live their life the way they choose to live their life but this is my opinion and i think it is wrong for you to know that somebody is married and still go ahead to uh to date them now i know some people are going to say but uh even if i don't date the man someone else is gonna date him so i I, I better be the one doing the enjoyment, no sis? Okay, so let's make an example. Let's say this man goes around and asks 10 women out and all of these 10 women say, no, you're married, I'm not gonna date you. Now who's gonna date him? Nobody's gonna date him. That's what I'm saying. So sis, start with you, say no. Let the next girl say no. Let's see who he's gonna cheat on his wife with. Now there'll be nobody for him to date if all the girls say no now, ain't it? <laughs> It's simple as that, but no, if you say yes, then you are part of the 1% that is bad. It's okay if the man wants to be a billy goat and be going all over the place just sticking his thing all over the things, okay? It's okay. Don't be one of the people he's gonna stick his thing into their thing. So now, let's go to the people who think it's okay to date other people's fathers. The sugar daddies, the sugar babies. <laughs> Let me make an example. How are you gonna feel? If you found out that your best friend was doing a horseship horshipness with your dad. I'm not saying that your dad is divorced. I'm saying your dad is still with his wife who is your mom. How are you going to feel to see your best friend disrespect your mom in that way? Now, that's the same thing that goes on. Now, put yourself in the shoes of the girl that you are doing the corny corny things with her dad. Now, put yourself in the shoes of the woman that he's left at home that, that, that you're doing all the corny corny things with her husband. Now put yourself in that shoes and know how it will feel when it's your mom in that position. Those are the kind of things you should put into consideration and not, but these days we girls, we are so blinded by the materialistic things that we forget about the right thing to do. Let me tell you something. If you work hard for your own money, keep your head straight, pray to God and be, and be, and be focused in life. You're not going to have any reason to date anybody's dad. Just so you can get the iPhone 11, sis. For those who don't know, I was a cleaner, okay? I cleaned after people just so that I could make it in life. I could have easily just dated somebody's husband and just, you know. I understand if you're in a position that you cannot get a job. There are so many things you can do with your life. You can get a skill. You can learn how to make hair. You can learn how to bake a cake. You can just do something, sis, that doesn't have anything to do with somebody's dad or somebody's husband. I really don't want this video to be too long, but this is my personal opinion. This is my unpopular opinion about people who think that it's okay to do these things. Because honestly, it's not. Even the Bible condemns things like this. I know that there were places in the Bible where people say that uh, people married uh, up to four wives. Sis, you know this man doesn't want to marry you. Uh, you, know what, you, you. You know what destroys my head most? Some of those men, their wives are in every single way better than this, this sugar babies and these side chicks that they have. And hey man, if you don't want her anymore, just tell her, okay? Divorce her. Let her go and find somebody who's gonna who, who, who's gonna treat her right. Let her find somebody who's who's gonna make her feel worthy of being alive. If you watch this video and you in any way feel offended, sorry, but I am not sorry. I'm not sorry for saying my opinion, for telling how I feel about this thing. Whatever I'm doing in this life that isn't affecting anyone negatively in any way, I'm okay with it. Like in this situation, what I'm saying, how is it hurting you? You know I'm telling you the truth, so the truth hurts. So if that's the kind of hurt that you're hurting, <laughs> I'm not sorry. Anyway, if you were able to stay till the end of this video, thanks for watching. Comment down below on what your thoughts are about this topic, okay? Do you think it's okay? If it's okay, what's your reason? And if you think it's not okay, then please, sis, help me down there because some people are coming for me, okay? Defend me. My people, defend me. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, comment down below also on future videos that you'd like to see from me and I'll be sure to look into them. Join the family. Smash the subscribe button, break it and do whatever you like with it. And while you're there, click on the notification bell so YouTube notifies you when I post. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Ciao!